Usually I try to have some sort of intro, but today we got nothing. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's winded down. It is. I'm supposed to have drywall delivered. About live on air what we're going to do over the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> How do we, we're obviously going to take some time off here. I yeah, I don't, I don't think next week is happening. Okay. That's kind of my... Yeah. Um, I mean... What yeah, do you want to like, talk, talk about Christmas and New Year's? I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'll probably just work, you know, yeah. mostly. I mean, I, I mean, I'll, I don't know. I mean, we have friends coming right before New Year's, but it's not going to really impact the week that much. Um, yeah, we'll that, figure it out. actually at all. I don't know. Whatever, we can figure that out. But yeah, I'm just... hopefully hanging drywall next week. It's hopefully <laughs> being delivered today. But we'll see. Yeah, actually, uh, what is today? Thursday. Yeah, maybe this week. I might actually be hanging those uh, security lights. Wow. Jumping jumping ahead in the queue from the uh, Ethernet thing I, th I should be working on. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll, actually, you know what? I'm going to plan to, I'm going to try to do that over the break. Maybe that's what I'll do. So here's a little electrical oddity that happened last night. Mm -hmm. um, to work on electrical, the right way to do it is you flip a breaker and then it's no longer energized, if you will. Yeah. Um, I'd love to tell you that my breaker box is just labeled like really clear. Like, <laughs> well, as you know, there are two kinds of breaker boxes. What you just described and mm -hmm. what really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so I not not to like dive into the electrical side, but so like I flipped a couple breakers, figured out which one, turned the other ones back on, but my Nest camera in my backyard no longer is functioning. Mm -hmm. So. I was thinking, hey, maybe maybe that line is off, like there's no power getting to it, but I have a little electrical meter and it's getting power. And you unplugged it and plugged it in. I, yeah. I know. I know. Okay. So now uh, I got to figure out. How old is it? It's not old. I mean, probably maybe less than a year. So, so you have a Nest uh, camera? Yeah. Okay. So it's probably exactly the one that I'm. Yeah, with. just not yeah. the Nest not Outdoor the IQ, IQ the, but the. the yeah, whatever the, the hundred and fifty dollar one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're great. Um, up until now. Mm. So, uh, the only and you can't see, do. You, how do you? You must. There's a Nest Home app or something. Or yeah, there's just a, a. That's exactly what it is. You open it up and it says backyard camera offline. This is offline. Okay. Yeah, so mm. I maybe need to try to bring it inside and like warm it up or something, and then. Um... Yeah, I mean, I know with my Philips Hue lights, I just went through this. It mm. was great agony uh sometimes i don't know how the nest one works yet but i mean sometimes you can just type in like the serial number and that will help it find it or whatever yeah if well you... it doesn't even look like it's getting power which is the odd oh. okay which is why i took my little electrical meter touched it on the outlet and it was like burr, burr, like you're gonna you're gonna shock yourself if you reach in there sparky um maybe it got destroyed in the winter what do they call this thing the the cyclone fist or something whatever the name i don't know is. the one on the front of my house is working as expected, but yeah. So now, It'd be awesome if there's like a like it's the last video it recorded was a little meerkat like screwing with it. <laughs> <laughs> like just like, like, <laughs> little raccoon or something. Yeah, you know? just up there, just <laughs> um, up there playing with it. So now I gotta go. Cool. Figure that thing out. I don't know if it is broken. If it's anything like when my thermostat broke or when I thought it broke but I didn't know if it was broken. Um, you can just like text Nest effectively and then they just ship you a new one real quick. So, Wow. Yeah. Yep. So that's, hmm. that's about all I got. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's your, that's your day in a nutshell. <laughs> well, the rest of my day is meetings and um, cleaning out this basement and figuring out what's left. And, um, you know, just kind of getting ready for, actually, we're going to go see the nut. I think we're taking my kid to see the nutcracker tomorrow. I think that's what we're doing. Uh, in a play form or a uh, like a live stage production kind of a uh, thing? Or? I believe it's the ballet. I believe. Ballet, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, right? I'm not, I mean, what I meant was like a live event, not a... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like humans yeah. on a stage yes. interacting. Yes. Dancing. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Yeah. We try to try to bring in the arts at least once a year or something like I don't <laughs> no, know. that's good. I don't know. Um, you guys must have seen like a live Frozen thing, right? I assume you did something. Like every yeah. single one that comes to town, yeah. U.S. Bank Arena, which actually has, I think, sure. been renamed. It's a gateway uh, drug to Cirque du Soleil, you know. Oh, it really? Is. <laughs> we saw some, uh, we saw like a, I guess it was a holiday, I don't remember what it was, but it was like a live thing where like people throwing people in the air and actually it was a Cirque du Soleil thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, in, 
but we've seen it since we've been here. Like that was one of the first times in a while we've been to a, an event like that, like a local event, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, we'll see. And then we got obviously the holidays happening next week for both Christmas and Hanukkah, I believe are both happening yeah. next week. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I have this, uh, I'm not going to beat this one to death. I know no one cares, I, but this is just, <laughs> no, I mean, like, I mean, Go ahead. no one, no one cares, but like, I literally, I have been going through those MSDN magazine archives that Microsoft posted online a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah. I've literally been going through at, like issue by issue from the beginning. So I'm, I'm at 2005, 2006, somewhere there. Um, there was an, there was an article Back then, they had like a, an article, a, a column called Advanced Basics, which was written by Tim Pattison. That might be the wrong name, something like Tim Pattison. And he, he was a big basic guy back mm -hmm. in the day. And he wrote an article about file streams and everything. I was like, this is kind of interesting because I'm doing something like this in the Notepad app. And I don't think this is the method I was using for reading and writing from a file. Mm -hmm. And I, sp I literally spent last night, I took some of his code. I, I made a blank app that's like my app, you know, so I could do it with the text box and reading from a file. He was doing it slightly differently, but I, I, I condensed it down. Like it was like basically like I actually, I optimized it basically is what yeah. I'm saying over time. Like it went down from like, he was like dimming two objects and I did it. So there's no dimmed objects at all. And it was like a single line of code. I was really proud of it. And I literally caught yeah, you must do this sometimes. Like your wife comes home and you have to tell her something about work and then you're mm -hmm. partway through the story and you realize you're killing her. Like yeah, this, I no, just doesn't no care. One, even the people listening to this don't care about what I'm saying. Like my wife is like, you know, she's polite about it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but halfway through it, I'm like, you don't care. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I was like so proud of myself. And then I'm going to go back. I didn't even look at what I had done in my own application. So I'm not sure like off the top of my head, the method I used, but I know, I think it's different than this, but this, mm -hmm. I have to say, this thing is, it's really fast. You will do anything to avoid running that Ethernet cable, won't you? I was busy last night, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I found some magazines from 2005. I'm going to read them again because that's... Listen, uh, this is evergreen content, Brad. I, I, don't, I don't, you know. You're talking about this new OS that's coming? This is going to be bored to crap by that. I might actually write about it. So, you know, if you could just, just enjoy the whole... I'm going to try to step through how I... I it doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I seriously spend my time doing stuff like this. It's weird. Yeah, I guess. I, mean... I know. I'll, I'll do it. I promise. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just, well, you know, all the power to you. That is what you do in uh, late December. I will say how many days. We are two days away from the shortest daylight day of the year, which makes me mm -hmm. very happy. That is my true Christmas. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it's a slow boil. Oh, really? To get oh, really past is. that to where the sun starts coming up at a reasonable sign, you know, mm -hmm. at time rather. Um, but, uh, yeah. Actually, here's something that may be interesting to people. I don't know if you, you ever try to make, or you ever make the mistake of speaking of things you shouldn't do with your spouse or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, like you buy, like, tech gifts for people in your family. Yeah. You ever do this? It's a huge mistake. Which, speaking of which, I got to go buy my wife a phone. <laughs> Right. Oh, okay. Well, you know, in this case, she's expecting it. And it's fine. You know. Yeah. But I, I saw this. It was like you know, see, we had all these gift guides, you know, and you're like, whatever. And you kind of go through them, and it's always like, you know, what? It's the stuff you would never buy. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one, I thought this was kind of a cool idea. So there's something on uh, Amazon. It's like um, thirty bucks, and it's called a hyper chiller, all one word, HG2 patented coffee beverage cooler. So what you can do with this thing is you pour hot coffee into it mm -hmm. or tea, or like warm wine and it it chills it like immediately hmm. and it has like awesome reviews hmm. so i'm like from a scotch I, I, yeah yeah it'd be good for all kinds of things mm -hmm. so i actually bought it's sort of a tech gift sort of sort of yeah so what I, I how's it powered it. like oh God, i just bought this thing i don't know what it is it's like uh I just threw my money at the screen i'll figure it, it looks out looks like it's a yeah i just threw, it looks like a like a tall mug mm-hmm um, how I it? describe you, by the way. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> <That's>, yep, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I it must be powered. I mean, I can't imagine it's battery powered. Yeah. Can this be used for soda? Yes. It's eight ounces. Actually, can hold up to twelve point five ounces. Uh oh, 
Actually, it might not be powered. I think you just put it in the freezer. Oh. So you bought a thermos. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's supposed to be awesome, though. Good. I, I hope it is. You'll have to let me know how that one works out. <laughs> I will, but it will be after Christmas. Um, the only thing I can offer to people is if they're struggling to find a gift for somebody who likes grilling, I bought my dad just a whole bunch of like grill cleaning crap. So, right. There and also, we're, uh, I know we're, we're, we're probably um, three years past the Instant Pot thing. I don't know if you guys have one of these things. Mm -mm. Okay, then there's your gift right there. You should order one right now. I, my wife, uh, we have like, we, we, my wife cooks uh, like every yeah. meal, like she's a really good cook. And, uh, she, you know, we got like a, last year we got a sous vide, you know, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a, kind of an esoteric thing really for normal people, I, I would say. But, you know, if you're into, if you're like a chef or into cooking, whatever, it's big. This Instant Pot thing, my wife's like, I can't believe I didn't get this thing already. Like she, it, it's amazing. She literally, the fr very first time she ever used it, made the best chicken wings I have ever had in my life. Like ever. Hmm. Like it is, it's astonishing. We, I, I we don't, I, well, since then, I, not quite every single like dinner. Yeah. But almost every single dinner she has made in this thing. Hmm. She made a chicken in it, dude. Like an entire chicken. Fantastic. What'd you do with the feathers? <laughs> It's an add-on. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just the, one time we threw the cat in. Nobody knows. So. <laughs> it's a little gamey, but yeah, exactly. Well, since no, we're it's, it's uh, I know that I'm I'm way behind on this. We are way behind on this. Um, but seriously, and apparently you are too. So uh, if you're seriously looking for like a gift for mm -hmm. your wife, I know right. a gift that makes her stay in the kitchen and do some more stuff for you guys is probably not that much of a gift. But <laughs> it, it it is if she likes to cook. Yeah. She cares about this stuff. I, I, she would love it. And my wife's a big baker, actually. And since bringing it up for back-to-back -back years, my wife has won the cookie competition at her work. She won. So you can make you yogurt in this thing. Well, yeah, yep. Honey, I didn't buy you a phone, but I did buy you it's something like, well, to make me chicken don't get it wings instead with. of the phone. <laughs> Just you know, Paul said you can make me really good chicken wings. You don't need a. You don't need a phone. What are you talking about? If your wife ever asks for my phone number, it is <laughs> that you not give it to her. Uh, all right. You got anything else on this fun-filled chicken wing episode? <laughs> I guess not. No all worries. right. Well, folks, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, live show, 1 p.m. Eastern time with hopefully some things to talk about. Maybe chicken wings, maybe bratwurst. Who knows? We'll find out. Mm. Eggs. You can make eggs. Mm. Good old omelets.